An Italian woman who was subjected to online abuse after an explicit video of her went viral has killed herself. Footage of Tiziana Cantoni carrying out a sex act on a man was uploaded to the internet last year. She apparently made it in a bit to make her ex-boyfriend jealous. An Italian woman who was subjected to online abuse after explicit images and a video of her were widely shared across the country has killed herself. Video footage of 31-year-old Tiziana Cantone from Naples performing a fellatio on a man was uploaded to the internet in spring 2015. How did it all happen? Well, she had sent six different videos to five friends whom she trusted, according to La Repubblica. But as soon as the next day, the clips began to be shared online, appearing on porn sites and social media. During comments, edited screenshots and cruel video parodies, many of which used her full name, turned her intimate act into a viral internet meme. In an electronic age we live in, this is probably the worst thing anyone can do. Digitally sharing videos and photos of themselves having sex will spread like wildfire across the internet. Furthermore, so many people make money from porn, so it's almost 100% that these types of videos will make their way onto an amateur porn website where it will be viewed, saved and shared by millions. The online ridicule was often centered on one short throwaway phrase of Miss Cantone's captured in the original footage. You're making a video? Nice one! So her boyfriend at the time films this and then she sends it to her friends. Definitely not a nice one. Not even once. A number of rumors posted online about her were reported by the media such as claims she was trying to become a professional porn star. Well that's what rumors in here say do. Once the videos and photos are out there, it's done. Kaput. Tormented by all the negative attention, she moved house and changed her name. This month she won a legal case forcing Facebook to take down the abusive post. Fucking Facebook. But following at least the two previous suicide attempts, her family said Miss Cantoni had taken her own life while staying at her mother's home. In court, Miss Cantoni's mother said her daughter was unable to untangle herself from the events, reported La Repubblica. She has always been a healthy, normal girl, her mother said. Recently, she has been very unhappy. She suffered from everything she saw and heard, and in particular from the lawsuit, because she believed justice has not been done. Look, I feel deeply for the mother who lost her daughter to suicide, which is a complete waste of life. She could have made something positive out of this porn tape. I mean, look at Kim Kardashian and her sisters. They practically made their fame and fortune from amateur porn. The girl obviously did not think far ahead of what can happen by sharing pornographic images and videos and only started sinking in when she started getting hate for it. I don't think she really cared about anyone there but satisfying her anger and resentment at her ex-boyfriend and trying to make him jealous was her priority above all. Public prosecutor Francesco Greco has opened an investigation into her death, which may establish the degree to which the impact of the video's publication had affected her. Mr. Greco said the investigation into possible charges of instigating suicide is being coordinated with another based on a defamation complaint the woman brought against four individuals last October. The complaint remained open at the time of the woman's death on Tuesday. Her friend, Teresa Petruzzino, told Carriera della Sera that Miss Cantoni was distraught by the the event. She said, I wonder how anyone can be so fierce how to rage against the girl who has not done anything wrong. I think that they should be ashamed of all those who have filled the web of insults and meanwhile secretly watched the images. Miss Cantoni successfully had the video removed from the search engines in 2015 but it continued to reappear around the web in various different forms. She received the stream of insults and abuse on her social media accounts every time the video resurfaced. So here are my final words on this tragedy. Why is the media and the public are all saying like she did nothing wrong? If she was being mature, accepted what happened with her ex-boyfriend during a breakup and just let the relationship end, none of this would have ever happened. It's ironic that she felt the need to get revenge by literally making her own revenge porn to make her ex jealous. She made the video, she shared the video, and in the end she killed herself. How is this any of the ex-boyfriend's fault? It seems that women are so immature and childish that they can't be held accountable for their own bad actions and decisions. There is no safety net from the reality. This is what feminism does not teach women. Reality does not discriminate. It just acts. If a woman who is 31 years old and is this immature to spread sex videos to her ex and his friends to make him jealous, that's just bad karma and bad decision making. What was she hoping was going to happen? Her ex would make a response video of him having sex with his new girlfriend? I really don't get it. 
Even though I admit that this is a huge tragedy for a young woman to take her own life, and my condolences are with her family, it just seems like, like this is just another example where the media is making it look like women are the automatic victims and can do no wrong. They're blaming her ex-boyfriend, his friends, and their revenge porn for her death. What do you guys think about this strange and sad case? Put your comments down below. Thanks for watching, like this video and subscribe.